still working with pages as um, these tutorials go through, um, it's important to understand that Pages has a lot of the accessibility functions that um, Goodreader and those other web dev apps have. So in other words, if I have a look here and I've got, say as a teacher, I've set up um, a folder where it's got all the documents in that a student needs for their course. Um, all I need to do is click on this plus at the top here. And instead of going create document or copy from iTunes, I'm gonna click copy from web dev. Um, and if, if a prompt or something comes up, um, you know, it's usually dependent on the system that um, you're using at your school. So if I have a look at this, I'm gonna go to my staff home. Um, this is where I store all my school folders. I'm gonna go through and go 100, uh, 1,500 ad, uh, ads amazing. And this one here, I'm gonna grab and I'm gonna pull it down. It's importing into my pages document um, and it's dropped it straight there. It'll come up with these sorts of alerts saying, look, you know, we don't have Times New Roman um, as a bold and underline. There's millions of fonts and to save them all on an iPad just wouldn't work. Um, and so there needs to be a bit of recognition that there are some things that it can format and do well and there are some things that can't like pages has an issue sometimes with tables and pictures within tables um, the reason for that is because pictures within tables is from a traditional word processing background yes it's nice to do we continue to do it but these devices aren't made as a traditional word processor or like a client or a desktop program or like you normally used to. They do make you do things differently. Um, and generally you need to be comfortable with that. So I can have a look at this word document here. I just tap it and these are all the pictures and all that sort of stuff that's in here. And there's a whole 50 ads and all those sorts of things. Um, as a teacher, I could tap on that and replace it or make it a bit smaller. Um, or if I tap somewhere on here and say, look, I wanna actually type, um, and this is the best, this is the best app. Okay. And then I could bold and underline all that as well. Once I come out of there, I'd go to documents and it would drop back. Um, and so that's how I would grab stuff up and down. If I wanted to save this back into my server to access later on the top right here is this little spanner and I'm going to share and print is the tool that, or the option copy to web dev should be something that we're used to now. The difference is I get an, a range of options. Um, I can either save it back up as a Word document, so if I'm gonna access it only from a Windows computer, um, I could save it as a PDF because it doesn't need to be edited by somebody, or I could save it as a Pages document, which is on a Mac or that sort of stuff. Um, if I go PDF, I'm gonna go Start Home and I'm gonna throw it back into there. I'm gonna go Copy and it'll save it back up and I've saved it into a folder where I can access it anywhere as well. Um, it doesn't get rid of it from my um, iPad, but it's giving me access to it in another way.